Very good morning to all of you. And Professor Dehima, who is now looking after this very important university in a very important state of our country. And uh, thank you very much for doing wonderful leadership here. And you have looked after this campus and kept the morale and motivation of the faculties and also the happiness quotient of my students. So thank you very much. And that Sushil Kumar Shahi, who is sitting as one of the invitees over here and other very distinguished invitees. That Smita Sahu, who is my colleague, who looks after all the patrons. And she was the main person who was who is responsible for this particular conference along with Dr. Yogi. So Smita, appreciate that your wonderful job that you are doing for a meeting. And my dear distinguished faculties who are giving a new dimension, new paradigm to Amity Group itself and being in this Amity University Chhattisgarh campus, you are really doing a wonderful job. You are not in the metropolitan cities like Delhi, Bombay, Calcutta, <coughs> Chennai or Bangalore, but in this Chhattisgarh, very important, beautiful city, uh, doing a wonderful job. So I appreciate And my dear students, brilliant students, I love you. Because yesterday I had the interaction with some of you in the hostels, who are residents in hostel, and I saw your brilliance, enthusiasm, dynamism. I am so charged, I am so motivated by the brief inter uh, interaction with you. That will make me to come, you, come to your campus more often. I am going to come in November again. So I will spend more days. Today, this time it's one and a half days. That will be at least three days I am going to spend with you. And I was so fascinated to see your commitment, devotion, the, ex the, the canvas of your knowledge by my brief interaction with you. You are going to be the future. And you are going to be the future of the country, future of the world, the humanity. Because you are going to set standards. You are going to create a new world order which will be filled with happiness, peace, prosperity, global harmony. So you are going to play that role of transforming this world into a beautiful place. So my dear students, I appreciate all your commitments, devotion, enthusiasm, transform yourself first as a powerful human being. So Amity is committed and it's a research and innovation driven university. So in a research and innovation driven university, even our pedagogy, the method of delivery of curriculum, design of your syllabus, everything has to be in such a way that it creates, it, it promotes creativity, innovation, problem solving ability in our children, in you. So that is why it is, it is called Amity, it is Research and Innovation Driven University. So not only in education, but we carry out the research. Our faculties, research scholars, they all carry out research. Today Amity group has filed, as was mentioned, 870 patrons, more than 870 patrons. And we are number one. It is just not only among the private, it is number one in the country as an institution, we are saying that because all the IITs put together, it's a big group, no, I mean, uh, IITs, Indian Institutes of Technology, there are more than 16 now, and then Amity is very young. Those IITs are decades old. So in fact, in the uh, patent, Director General of Patents, uh, he has mentioned in, a, in his own official record that Amity is number one. And IITs, next to IITs, because IITs are decades old. You might have seen in Times of India. This we have maintained in the last five years, just not only one oh, block here, it is five years. And our particularly Smita Sahu is playing a very important role in that direction. Smita, can you get up? She is the one no, who is now looking at the patients in our office. And we have a complete patient cell. He, she is patent attorney as well, and uh, she also we have a Shal, Dr. Shali, uh, Shalini. Uh, she is a Shalim, Shalim Raizada, looks after uh, the, the filing part of it, and she uh, coordinates the patent office. So many of them are getting granted now. Many of them are request for examination, first examination report, and the state of granting. Thank you so much. 
So she is doing a wonderful job and will continue to do uh, your job even much better. So uh, Amity is now producing a large number of patents. So it's just not only filing patents. You need to translate those patents into product, deliverables, technologies, and also processes reaching out to people. That is what Amity is doing. In the last two years, we have transferred about 11 technologies. 11 technologies have gone to industry. Not only industry in India, industry abroad. Taiwan-based company, Sinon Limited, Sinon Corporation, has taken a technology of Amity. Your technology has been taken for commercialization by a Taiwan-based company. What is the technology? How do you give abiotic stress tolerance to the plants, the crops? You know, when you go into some of the uh, areas, you see salinity of the soil, alkalinity of the soil, high temperature, low temperature, low water availability. All these are abiotic stress to the crops, plants. How do you give? How do you give protection against the abiotic stress? Or how do you increase the tolerance of the plants to abiotic stress? So Amiti has developed a technology using a fungus, a root endophile, which gives a tolerance to abiotic stress. And we call it as Piriforma spora indica. The name of that fungus is known as Piriforma spora indica. That gives this as a plant growth promoter and also giving abiotic stress tolerance. So this is taken by a Taiwan-based company and we are giving it to a number of Indian industries as well. MSMEs, they are taking the technology. They have taken it. 